When you're measuring distance on a map, what you're really using is a unit rate. They'll tell you something like one inch is equal to some amount of distance. <clears throat> and let's say you want to measure the distance from this point to this point. Just as this diagram shows us, you can line a ruler up and find out how many inches in a straight line it is from one point to the other. And then once you find that out, in this case, it hops one, two, and then a half of an inch. Well, we need to figure out how far that is. If one inch, you write a ratio, is four miles, then 2.5 inches equals some mystery amount. Well, really what we're doing here is we have two and a half times larger than one, so we take four, multiply it by two and a half, and we get 10 miles. The idea is that we've increased this amount by two and a half times, so we should also increase the distance by two and a half. And that's how far it is. Now something I should point out that I don't like about this diagram is that typically when you measure with a ruler, it might be a good idea not to, to just line up different numbers like they had, but to actually line it up so that the starting point is at zero right here. This way, it leads to a little bit less error. Now the rulers you have won't actually be this simple. They look a little bit more like this ruler right here with lots of lines. And a carpenter's ruler typically has um, 16 dashes between any two whole numbers. But let's count this one together. I think it has 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can find the location again, I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The halfway point is this long line right here. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So actually, whenever you have a ruler, it's a good um, bet that you should check to see which uh, points are the halfway point and which line actually indicates the first inch. Because most rulers are different. You might also see a scale like this. They won't tell you that one inch equals a certain distance, but they'll show you that from here to here um, is a certain number of miles. So for example, this whole distance is 10 miles, this chunk right here is 5 miles, or something like that. And what they're suggesting, and this could be interesting, if you're forced to do this and you don't have a ruler, you could either um, mark it off on paper and line the paper up or mark it on something that you can use to line up and measure. But if you have a ruler and you see a scale like this, you can find out how long this distance is to find the um, distance between two points. Um, this is interesting. They, they pointed out that if you want to measure a curved distance, it's pretty hard to estimate. You have a lot of options, though. You could lay a string over this distance and then cut the string and then and then straighten it out and measure how far that string is. Uh, but really they have this tool called a map measure which has a wheel at the bottom and you roll it along a curved distance and that'll tell you how far you're going. Most likely though you'll see a scale like this with a fraction or a ratio. Um, but essentially it's saying the same thing as before. And what they're saying is 1 over 253,440. Well, one is referring to inches, and they'll specify that, even though they don't say it here in this diagram. And this right here could be feet or miles or whatever they would specify. Let's say feet. So one inch represents this many feet. And of course, it's not the other way around because it would be very difficult to measure this many inches for the purpose of showing one foot. This ratio right here is actually saying the same thing. It's written a different way. And in fact, this is probably more common than the fraction. This is a part-to-part -part ratio. So on this side of the ratio, we have one type of unit, which is most likely inches. And over here, we have feet. So for every inch we have, we have this many feet. So if you measure it, and you find that you have 2.5 inches, well, we have a new ratio, where the inches are now 2.5 instead of 1, or 2.5 times greater. So our feet should be 2.5 times greater than this number. And that will tell you the total distance from one point to the other. In this case, it would be 633,600 feet.